Hello, my name is Adelheid Stark, and I'd like to highlight an interesting thing I recently found for Spencer. His Bionic Bomber uses a ground bounce, so you can't normally do two in a combo without refilling the ground bounce limit with Bionic Maneuvers. But, if you position yourself so that you only hit with a shockwave, generally by dash jumping back before using Bomber, it OTGs the opponent and knocks them up, but doesn't take away from the ground bounce limit. And even if you've already used up your ground bounce, OTG with just a shockwave will still float the opponent. Now, that's all well and good, but this is only really applicable in the corner, where Spencer combos are optimized enough that adding more hits that don't lead into unscaled vertical grapples will generally cause the ending hits to uncombo and thus lead to less damage, so I initially believed this to be useless. But it occurred to me that you have more leeway when comboing off of a wire grapple or a normal throw. Here we see how this can be used to lead to breaking 950k assistance off of a wire grapple. The shockwave will, for most distances, only hit the opponent once, but if you're positioned just right, easier to do against some characters than others, you can get the full damage from Bionic Bomber with just the shockwave. The combo I'm doing right now uses this to break 800k from a wire grapple with no assists and only one hyper use. This will, of course, kill Amateras and only Amateras. And poking with wire grapple against the Madaras is a bad idea for several reasons, so never mind on that. But hey, it's still a bit more damage and more meter gain when it does come up. Here I'm just demonstrating how you can use this technique to get a bit more damage out of your normal throw. Remember that the distance you have to go back to only hit with a shockwave can vary depending on the opponent. Against Nemesis, you may have to dash a bit further back than you might be comfortable with practicing on mid-sized characters. Against Rocket Raccoon, Joe, and Arthur, you can just hold up back and that'll be sufficient. You would think this would be most useful against Hulk and Sentinel, getting extra damage working wire grapple to stuff their armor moves while staying safe from their slow pokes. But they're both big enough that so you can't dash back enough from the corner to only hit with a shockwave. You can set it up with the combo I mentioned earlier that only uses one hyper, since that lets you get a bit further back, but you get less damage because you can't connect the fastest armor piercer at this distance. Less enough damage that the normal version of this combo is still a bit stronger. So there you go. It's not too applicable, and it's honestly mostly a novelty, but it does have its uses. Thank you for watching.